Good morning. We're so glad you're here. My daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. So Sarah's driving me to work. Well, I'm driving. You're driving myself, yourself. And then you're gonna take the car. Yes. So I am back in the car. Um, I finished the vlog. I got Eval settled, got myself ready. I am red from running around like crazy. Um, but I actually have acupuncture this afternoon. So I'm heading there now. I don't actually think I'll be home before I go pick up Peter. I have to go to Target. Um, so I'll see what I can capture along the way. Alrighty, so acupuncture went super great. It was actually a really, maybe like my favorite session ever. It was just good talking about things, but also the actual session itself. And now, it's going into Tarte. I can really shop. I can do some damage. I'm trying so hard not to go by the clothes. I do need shoes for Dom and Victoria's wedding. So I'm gonna look. Um, but sometimes when I'm alone, dangerous. No luck with the shoes. I'm gonna have to probably look online. Um, but now I have to get vitamins and protein and some tea. Um, just a handful of odds and ends. I don't really think I needed this big cart, but better prepared than that. <laughs> Holy smoke. It is pouring. I honestly heard this from inside, but was hoping that it was just like the air conditioner kicking in. Do I brave it or wait? Okay, I made a break for it. Um, update on my shopping trip because I was alone. The only impulse buy I made was a candle on sale for $5. So I call that a success. Um, even though I still paid, paid a pretty penny um, just because some of my vitamins are more expensive. Um, but it is already $3.53. So I'm going to go and head to pick up Peter. I'll be early but um, there's no use in going home now. You'll notice we do not have Impossible Whoppers in our hands. Well, I don't think it was supposed to be the national release date yet. No, it said, like, this one blogger said. Well, sometimes people get things wrong, like <laughs> when you're a vegan vloggers and you say that Pop-Tarts are vegan, and then a, a vegan family that watches you get all pumped because they go to eat vegan Pop-Tarts, and little kids eat them, and then the pa parents realize that there's gelatin in them, so they're not vegan. And you break little it's kids' the, hearts' lives. No, it was the frosting, and we're so sorry. We're on the road to a different Burger King nearby. Which has been rumoredly reported as having an impossible whopper. We just have to get it with no mayo. Let down again. Why is this big poster here? I guess they weren't supposed to sell it the other day, but they said that tomorrow's the official day. They can't sell it until tomorrow. So we just got some french fries. We drove like an extra 20 minutes for this. <laughs> we enjoyed our french fries, we really did. They were tasty, they were fresh, they were hot, they were delicious. But I just want to justify a little bit of our angst just now with the fact that like I understand the rules of bureaucratic corporateness about like not being allowed to sell those items until tomorrow because that's the rule. But I worked in at a Subway restaurant for three years. I understand the whole like release dates and advertising that goes but goes behind it. And the fact that they really like got me worked up about it is the fact that they kept the window decal on and they kept it on the menu. Like, yeah, it's on the actual menu. It's an, It was a number three. Did we see that line or did somebody message us saying that they found found this one in Davenport that there is, sold it? I started following um, an Instagram page called Atomic Vegans and they're from Orlando and they posted about it and in the comments somebody said, which one did you go to? And it said the one in Davenport on 27, which is where we And are. we get up, get here, drive a bit of a ways out of our way. I'm already like... Time press night <laughs> was our choice. Mm -hmm. 
it was my choice. Sarah actually didn't realize we were doing it, but I like, skipped our apartment to continue driving here. It's like a fun little surprise. <laughs> yeah, and we were just gonna get the burgers and then go. I gotta run. We're supposed to see the bugs, maybe, but. We get here and the menu, it's in the, the window decal, and then we get inside, and then the very easily adjustable menu, it's on there too. And that's, I wouldn't be as upset if they, even if they kept it in the window decal, but if they took it off the menu, because that is so... It's also like dinner time and we're hungry, so like... It was a little it bit of hangry going on. a little bit of a hangry going on, and like... But to me, it's, it's just it is like... It's just a burger. It's just a burger, yeah, but... <laughs> My inner like subway artist is like, I would have like, I I definitely have sold Buffalo subs at Subway the, the summer that they came out like out of like the corporate dates. But I like, we just, whenever we got told not to, we would just pull it off the menu. Mm -hmm. Like, so then people don't come in and get their hopes up. Cause I really I wanted so. it. I know. I, we get in the car, the first thing Sarah says when she picks me up was, I have an idea. <laughs> I saw that that there's a Burger King, that some Burger Kings have the Impossible Burger out. So we went to the one closer to our apartment. Well, that one didn't. And then she goes, well, hold on. I know this Instagram account that got it here in Orlando. We go to that one, advertising up. No burger, but. We'll be back. It's we'll not gonna back. stop us yeah. from coming to get it. Yeah, I'm just never gonna come back to this one ever again. <laughs> so I got a fancy candle, cause she knows I love the candle. We also came home and we're like, why does it smell a little strange in here? And it was super hot. And it was a hot. little hot there. And our puppy was so sad. <laughs> Thank you. And we realized that the battery in our thermostat went kaputz. It's 79 degrees in this apartment. <laughs> Toasty. Actually, it's kind of cooled down with the rain, so we're kind of lucky. So, another little jolt in our plans for the day. Peter goes all the way to the, um, to the gym and all the treadmills are taken. So now he is running nine miles outside. It is a little bit cooler now that it had rained, but hopefully the rain just stays away. All right, we, if you haven't noticed in a while, we haven't seen our friends, the bugs. So we're actually gonna go- Look at this crazy hairdo. We're gonna go see them even though it's nine o'clock at night, but I wanted to show you, I did my nine mile run before we went out today. And it was like humid. It just started like stopped raining. But I think I did, I did very good. So my fastest mile was eight minutes and 33 seconds. I started taking walking breaks after the first four miles. And my average heart rate was a little higher at 170 beats. I wanted it to be more like around 160. But Sorry, you, might your shot. you might be, so that's uh, watching her bowl. Either way, I did my miles, eight yesterday, nine today, four tomorrow. I did 14? Yeah. I did 14 on Saturday, so put in some serious mileage, getting ready for the fall, which I'm so excited for. And guys, don't I'm worry, so like, proud of you. thank I'm you. So proud of you. I've been watching a lot of like running YouTube and reading up on stuff. And for anybody who's worried, like, I'm gonna make sure I don't overdo it. I've already been listening to my body, and there's something called a taper, which I already am so excited for. Come the end of October, we're like about two weeks out from my run. Uh, wine and dine, I'll start like tapering off and not doing as intensive runs, but Time to go to see the buggies We just got in the car And I don't Peter's know so perplexed. I don't know if I should call the cops or not Peter there is an apartment We're not tattletales. I know um, but it's like for the livelihood of the whole, everybody Okay, the the apartment building next to ours like in our complex one building over on the third floor on the balcony There is somebody having a fire on the balcony on the third floor. Like a fire pit, not just- I don't see a pit, I just see fire. Like clearly it's controlled, but like, that balcony's made of wood. That apartment's made of wood. It's everything above the second floor in <laughs> Florida is made of wood. Yeah. And it's a fire on the third floor. There's plants. There's workers that live here. That's if they saw it, they would do something about it. Do I look like Tinkerbell? Ready for it, wait for it, wait for it. Reach out and find your happily ever after. This is the worst shot in all of eternity because it seriously just wants to focus on the rain. Stories and stories. Comment that below from? what movie that's from. Gotcha. Wow. It's the bugs. It's the bugs. Bugs win the honey pot. 
Joey, right. Beth is uh, slewing some business talk over there with Sarah. Yo. And Josh and I are talking about how delicious these cuties are about to be in my belly. In my belly. Because my running took longer than expected, so I actually didn't eat dinner before we came. You need to eat something. I had a protein shake on the way, but I need more substance. I'm just playing like I'm Nine miles of uh, calories to replenish. <laughs> yeah. um, one major flaw in our plan. Did not think it'd be 12.49 a.m. that we'd be home. And because of my running debacle that I chose to do, double backfired because I didn't get to eat Sarah's stew before we went over the bugs. We kind of just went over the bugs and we didn't explain it to like just catch up with them because mm -hmm. they've been so busy, we've been so busy, they've got stuff, we've got stuff, everybody's got stuff. Mm -hmm. So we kind of just went over there. That's why we went over there so late just to kind of catch up with them. So that's why we didn't vlog like, too much there. Lucy was already asleep. Jess was already asleep. Just relaxing, chit chatting, catching up with friends. But I'm starving. So I'm going to heat up stew at 10 to 1 in the morning. They gave me two cuties to eat, so thanks, Bugs, for the cuties. But I ran nine miles. Two cuties doesn't. Doesn't. <laughs> if you would have expressed that. that you were hungry, I'm sure they would have given me something else. I know, but I just was like, there's delicious stew waiting for me at home. All right, 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 all right. I can't remember today's date. That's why I'm doing this. Um, let's say I know it's a Wednesday. It's oh, it's the day before my anniversary. So when you're watching this, it is our four-year anniversary. So today is August seventh. Three years and three hundred sixty-four days. After, before the greatest day of my life, today is the seventh. Diego Val speaks. I think the key to life is just being a happy person, and happiness will bring you success. I agree, Diego. I agree 100%. Now, the challenge there is what makes you a happy person. Like, how do you? That's not just easy for everybody, you know? Um, life's hard, you know? Things happen, ups and downs and emotions. We all remember when we were 13. Tough year, right? Also, I don't think we ever showed this, but shout out to my friend who sent us this or gave me this. Thug Kitchen Party Grub. It's all vegan. I'm gonna try that out, that's for sure. This is Sarah. She's my wife. When you're watching this, we will be celebrating our four-year anniversary. What? We have a jam-packed evening tomorrow. Yeah. Get ready for that vlog, guys. It's Today was kind of low-key. Kind of. But tomorrow is gonna be fun. As long as the weather. Oh, don't say that. I didn't even realize that it's weather permitting. Just one part. I just freaked out Eve because I knocked. On the wood and she's staring at the door like someone's here. <laughs> we got a little battery. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.